A triangular prism, also known as glass prism, is a transparent object having two triangular ends and three rectangular sides. The refraction of light in a triangular glass prism is different from a rectangular glass prism. This is because in triangular glass prism, the incident tree of light is not parallel to the emergent tree of light. Let's view the glass prism from the top. This is how it is often represented. Let's label it as follows. It should be noted that glass prisms have different angles A. However, the glass prism often used in physics experiments is 60 degrees. When a ray of light enters the glass prism, it gets deviated two times. First, when it enters the glass prism, and second, when it comes out of the prism. The ray of light passing through the glass prism bend towards its base, as you can see from this diagram. Let's draw vertical lines at the point of incidence and refraction. These lines are called normals. Let's call them N1 and N2. With the aid of a protractor, we can measure the angle of incidence I and the angle of refraction or emergent E. Let's extend the incident ray out. Also, Let's extend the emergent ray in. The angle formed at this point is called the angle of deviation. Angle of deviation D equals I plus E minus A. In this illustration, the angle of deviation decreases as the incident angle increases until it attains the minimum angle of deviation. Then it starts increasing. At minimum deviation, the refracted ray in the prism is parallel to its base. The refractive index of a glass prism N equals the following, where D underscore M is the minimum angle of deviation. When the angle of refraction in the vacuum is 90 degrees, the angle of incidence in the glass prism is called the critical angle. It is the minimum angle of incidence when the total internal reflection of light takes place. The critical angle of a glass prism equals the following. Total internal reflection occurs in the glass prism when the angle of incident is greater than the critical angle. We can exploit this visually using Marvin Office's lab. We can download the app at www.marvinop.com. As you can see here, total internal reflection occurs at this surface as soon as the angle of incidence exceeds the critical angle. Another interesting phenomenon that occurs in glass prism is the dispersion of light. In 1665, Isaac Newton discovered that white light consists of seven colors. He found that if a beam of white light is passed through a glass prism, then it will split into seven colors. These colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violent. The band of seven colors formed when a beam of white light passes through a glass prism is called spectrum of white light. The dispersion of white light happens because the angle of refraction of light of different colors is different while passing through the transparent medium. For example, red color deviates least and is formed at the upper part of the spectrum, and violent color is deviated maximum and is formed at the bottom of the spectrum. A spectrum of seven colors of light can be recombined to form back white light. This can be done by placing two glass prisms side by side, but place the second glass prism in an inverted position. When white light passes through the first prism, it disperses the light into seven colors. And when this beam of light enters the second prism, which is placed in an inverted position, white light is obtained when it comes out of the second prism. The seven colored lights be combined to form white light due to the second glass prism which is placed in a reverse position. Subscribe to get notified for more related videos. To simulate physics experiments visually, visit our website at www.marvinov.com to download Marvinov Physics Lab. Link in the description below. Don't miss a video. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when we drop a new video.